There are often times when you don't want every member in your team to be able to view the files of an entire channel, folders within a channel, or individual files themselves. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up customized permissions. And in this example, we'll focus on channels. So I'm in my Paps Demo 2021 team, and I have a channel called Photos. And for whatever reason, I only want a handful of members to have access to the files in this channel. Now, I could go ahead and create a private channel, but I'm going to show you another way that you can do this. And the way that we do this will also work on individual folders and files. So from within any channel in your team, click onto Files, and then Open in SharePoint. If you don't see Open in SharePoint, you may have to click the three dots first and then open in SharePoint. From there, we're going to click back onto the Documents folder. This should give us a list of all of our channels. To change the permissions on the Photos channel, we'll right click onto it or click on the three dots and go to Manage Access. From there, we'll get a panel that appears on the right and we need to go to Advanced. From here, we'll click on the Manage Parent button. And from here, Create Group. We're now going to create a group called Private Access and then add people to it. And we'll put in a description too. And scrolling all the way down, we're going to make sure that this new group has Edit Access and then click on Create. The private access group has now been created and the owner or person that created the group will automatically be added to it. We're now going to click onto the new dropdown and then add users. This is where we can add specific people to this group. I like to click on show options and untick send an email. Once done, click on Share. We now need to remove the other groups and people from the confidential channel. So to do that, we'll click onto Documents, right-click on Folders again, and go to Manage Access. Click on Advanced, and then Stop Inheriting Permissions. From there, we'll click on to the members and the visitors groups, and then remove user permissions. And that's done. Now only the authorized users will be able to see the files in that channel. Now logging in as another user, we can see the photos channel and the posts. But when we click onto files, we get a message that says this item might not exist or is no longer available. This is what shows for a user that doesn't have access. Anyone else with access will see the full list of files.